Hello, I'm Gary Willock, and welcome to another episode of Roofs by Gary Willock. Today we're going to be talking about a very special product, but before I get into that, I want to make you aware that there's a lot of outstanding products that can be used, that can be used on your roof. Unfortunately, most roofing contractors, especially the roofing salespeople, spend more time on learning sales techniques, <laughs> that's what I find, than they do learning about roofing and all the things that are available today. You know, I follow uh, Cheddar News, which comes out with business news and all the many products on LinkedIn. You see them all the time rolling out new products, all sorts of information about new stuff that's out there. And it never, never will end now that we have such an incredible ability to communicate through the internet and learn what each other has done. So keep in mind that re-roofing or a new roof have many options. Today we're going to be talking about a product called Dryer Jack. It's a vent that vents through the roof, which is not the best way to vent a dryer. That We're talking about a clothes dryer here. But in my opinion, if you are going to dry out the roof, you want to make sure you have a really, really good vent. And here's why. Your typical vent, most of them look like this, and this is a good quality vent really good for bathrooms, um, vent fan, and things like that. Now the problem with using one like this, even though it's a four inch, just like the one we're going to show you that is by Dryer Jack, it has the, it does not have the ability to vent well without a lot of resistance. Now here is the problem. If you have a lot of resistance, the amount that your dryer, the amount of time that it will take to dry your clothes, the amount of energy you will consume to dry a load of clothes can actually double and sometimes even more. So you want to make sure that you have a dryer vent that is going to vent very, very well and that's where dryer jack comes in. Now this one has been slightly modified. <laughs> We have a habit of taking apart just about anything that we're thinking about using for a roof. And this is the one that was in the shop. We actually took it all apart. So the rivets are missing around the edge. And uh, it's, it, is, it does look like this. It's just loose a little bit here. But we took it apart so we could see what's in the guts of it. And that's a big part to us is understanding the products that we're using. And uh, that's why I have this little work area, workbench. Uh, and we try things and check things and see if they're really going to... The last thing we want to do is get inside and find out that it's just relying on caulk somewhere. That never works. So we want to make sure that this is built in a way that it's going to last. So this is by Dryer Jack, and I'm going to put below some information where you can actually look at the testing, the various testing that was done and see the resistance level and how dramatic a difference it is between a standard vent and this wonderful product and really the part that makes it so incredible is this opening vent if you notice it also is curved just like the vent itself and it makes the air flow so evenly that it reduces the resistance dramatically check it out below and you'll see what I'm talking about and keep in mind Whenever you're doing a roof, whenever you're re-roofing or installing a brand new roof on a brand new home, there are so many things to consider. You want to make sure you're getting somebody that know what your options are. You've got a lot of options.